How are students? Since we are talking about numbers, let's talk about the time now. Okay? Well, to read the time, you have to know that the clock has two arms. The big arm is the minutes arm. The small arm is the hours arm. Okay? To start, when the minute arm is on the number 12 and the hour arm is on any order of the numbers, you say that number plus o'clock. For example, 5 o'clock. Three o'clock. Ten o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. You can see that the big arm is right on the number twelve. And the small arm is on the other numbers. You say that number plus o'clock. Okay? For example, when the middle arm is on the number 2, for example, and the hour arm is on the number 9, how do you say that? Think for a moment. Each number from 0 to 12 counts 5 minutes and the minute arm is on the number 2. So, 2 times 5 is 10. So, how do we say that? We say, it's 10 past 9. We say, it's 10 past 9 
because it's ten minutes best through nine o'clock. Okay? And all the minutes from zero to thirty we say same way. For example, five past nine. Twenty past nine. Twenty two past nine. Twenty five past nine. Thirty past nine. Thirty past nine also can be expressed in another way. For example, when the minute arm is on the number six and the hour arm is on any other of the numbers, any other number. For example, nine. We say it's nine thirty, but we can also say it's thirty past nine. Or half past nine. Okay. When the minutes minute arm is on the number 3 and the hour arm is on any other number, we can also say that it's a quarter past that hour. For example, when the hour arm is on the number 8 and the minute arm is on the number 3, we can say it's 8.15. Or it's fifteen past eight, or it's a quarter past eight. Okay. For the minutes after the 30, in this case the number 6, we don't say that it's past from that hour. We say the time which is missing, remaining to the next hour. For example, when the hour arm is on the number 9 and the minute arm is also on the number 9. We say it's 9.45 or it's 15 to 10 because it's missing just 15 minutes to 10 o'clock, right? We can also say it's a quarter to 10, yes?
because every 15 minutes is one quarter. Okay? One more example. When the hour arm is on the number 9 and the minute arm is on the number 11, what time is it? It's 9.55 Or you can say It's 5 to 10 Okay, student? Let's practice now, okay? What time is this? Take a look at the watch And train and practice What time is this? Let's go, right now
are you doing, student? It's practicing that you will learn more, okay? Let's talk about the time zone. Well, every place has its own time zone. For example, in Brazil now, it's 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. It means it's 7 after midday. Okay? But in Japan, it's also 7 o'clock. In Japan, it's also 7 o'clock. Yes, in Japan, it's also 7 o'clock. But it's 7 o'clock a.m. It means it's in the morning. But it's in the morning of the next day. They are 12 hours ahead. Okay? What about New York? Do you know New York? Yes, right? Well, in New York, it's three hours earlier than Brazil. So, in Brazil, it's seven o'clock. So, in New York, it's 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Okay? Nice. Students, do you know what these letters after the numbers in the time mean? For example, 10 p.m., 7 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 a.m. It means p.m. means post meridian and a.m. means anti meridian. Okay, that's it. Bye bye, sweet. Hello, student. Do you like your English course? So share it with your friends at microcamp.com.br. Bye.